Hi everybody, it's Crystal. So today I'm going to show you how to crochet this blanket. <clears throat> Inside the matrix. Isn't that pretty? So it's it's not really hard. It does have a long repeat rows, but don't worry, I'll put the timestamps and everything and you'll be able to follow along just fine. So it has two different colors of yarn. You can use any colors that you'd like, but this is kind of what it looks like. As you can see, you see in that picture over there on the on my couch, and here's the uh, border here, looking nice and pretty. Pretty simple border, easy to do. Isn't that beautiful? I think this is a one one stunning blanket. So, gosh, that's pretty. That is a pretty pretty blanket. I must say, oh, that is a beauty. All right. So let me tell you a little bit about this blanket. So <clears throat> the size of this blanket here that you've seen in the picture with the border here is approximately 52 inches wide by 66 inches tall. It's a nice size throw blanket. Now without the border, it measures approximately 42 inches wide and 62 inches tall in case you wanted to leave the border off. But I do think the border it does finish it quite well, but you do whatever you want to your blanket. All right, so why don't we go ahead and talk about the yarn that I used and how much of it that I used. Okay, so for this particular blanket, like I mentioned, it's made with two collars. Um, there's a solid collar and then there's a, a, a variegated one. So the solid color is the black, um, which in the, when I do the uh, tutorial, I'm going to be using different colors, of course, but I'll be referring it to it as color A. All right. Um, it is made. It is a Premier Basic, which is a medium weight number four, 100% acrylic yarn, and there are 359 yards per ball. So it's called charcoal, like charcoal, not black, I guess. Um, and it took. Um, about four balls of this, of the solid color, um, about 1,400 yards of the solid medium weight number four. Of course, you use any colors that you want. But then I, the variegated that was used was from the yarn company Hobby, based in Denmark. It's a world of yarn, The this one right here, M-A-L-A-G-A -A -A print. Um, it's 100% premium acrylic. There's 180 yards per ball. And this took about nine balls of this or approximately 1600 yards. And it is also a medium weight number four. As I said, premium acrylic. The color is um, zero and nine. Of this yarn right here, that this color is my favorite. I love it. It looks really good with that black and that blanket. But remember, you use any colors that you choose. In total, you'll need about 3,000 yards. You're going to need about uh, 1,400, <coughs> excuse me, of one color, which I chose a solid. Um, and then 1,600 of another, which I chose a variegated, but you do as you like. And then... Um, we're going to be using the side J, which is the good old six millimeter crochet hook. You guys ready? Let's do it. All right. So we are going to go ahead and begin. So I, you know, I'm not, I'm going to do it on a smaller scale and I'm not going to be using that black yarn because you're not going to be able to see. So I'm using some scrap yarn. I'm going to be using this blue color and then I'm going to be using the yellow so the blue will represent the black which will be color a and the yellow will represent that uh multi-colored orange yarn and that would be color b all right so we're going to go ahead and start with color a which you see in the picture you do yours any color you want but color a represents the black um but i'm going to be using blue so this uh, particular uh, blanket has a stitch multiple of eight plus four. 
So in case you want to make yours bigger or smaller than mine or use this stitch for something else. Now following along with me, you want to chain 148 stitches. The 144 is your multiple of 8 plus 4 more equals 148. So, like I said, I'm showing you on a smaller scale. Once you get your chain of 148 stitches done, we'll go ahead and begin. So this particular uh, blanket, it has four foundation rows before we start the repeat of, of, the, of the blanket. Now don't worry, you can do this. It's very simple to do once you get the hang of it. All right, don't doubt yourself. You can do it. Um, it may seem intimidating and it may seem like it's a long repeat, but once you get it down, it's simple. It might take you a few tries, but that's okay. It takes me a few tries to do a lot of things. So do not give up. You got this. I want to see all the colors that you guys do. So eight plus four, following along with me, start out with a chain of 148 in color A, which on my blanket represents the black. So we're going to do foundation row number one. So these four foundation rows don't count as part of the repeat, okay? Foundation row number one is we are going to do a single crochet in the second stitch from the hook. So remember, we never count the one that's on a hook. One, two, one single crochet in that second stitch. And then we're going to work one single crochet in every stitch. And so we get to the end of the row. So this is foundation row number one. It's just one single crochet in every stitch. And I'll meet back up with you at the end of the row. All right, so I've made it to the end of foundation row number one. And now we're gonna start foundation row number two. So we're going to chain one and turn our work. And that chain one does not count as a stitch. So we're going to go right back into the very first stitch and we're going to do a single crochet. And we are just going to work one single crochet in every stitch across until we get to the end of the row. So foundation row number two is also a single crochet row one in every stitch and I will meet back up with you at the last stitch and we will do a color change all right so keep doing your single crochets until you get to your last stitch of your row all right so I'm coming to the end of foundation row number two and I'm going to switch colors at the last single crochet so I'm going to go into it and draw up a loop and I'm going to bring in yellow, which is color B, which in the blanket that you see in the picture represents that multicolored orange. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and just pull it through like that. I'm going to flip my work and give it a little tie here so we don't get lost. Just a little one. I'm going to carry this yarn up the sides so we don't have to clip it. Since there's going to be a border on it, you can hide any of, uh, you know, side, side uh, stitches that are hanging around uh, with the border. All right, so now we're going to start um, a foundation row number three. And we have color B on our hook. So we are going to chain one and turn our work. All right, so we're going to start out uh, with one single crochet into this very first stitch. And now we will start the repeat of foundation row number three. So we're going to put one single crochet in each of the next two stitches. There's one, and there's two. And then we're going to chain two, one, two, skip one stitch, skip one, 
and one single crochet into the next three. So there's one, two, three. Then we're going to chain four. One, two, three, four. And then we're going to skip two stitches, skip, skip. That ends the repeat of foundation row number three. So we would start again by putting at the beginning a repeat, which was right here. So we would start again by putting one single crochet into the next two stitches. There's one and two. And then we're going to chain two, skip one, and then we're going to put one single crochet into the next three. One, two, and three. And we're going to do a chain of four. One, two, three, four. And we're going to skip two stitches, skip, skip. And then we'll start our repeat over again by putting one single crochet into the next two. There's one. There's two. Then we're going to chain two. One, two. Skip one. One single crochet into the next three. One, two, three. And then we would chain four. One, two, three, four. And we would skip two, skip, skip, and start our repeat again with one single crochet in the next two, chain two, skip one, one single crochet in the next three, chain four, and uh, skip two, and start again. So we would just keep repeating that um, repeat, starting with these not this first single, but these two right here, until we get to the last two stitches of our row. All right, I'm coming to the end. I chain four, and I would skip two, and that would end my repeat, and I have two stitches left. So if you look, you have four, but ending, your re ending the repeat would be skipping these two, and then you would start again. We're going to end by putting a single crochet into the last two stitches. So there's one, and there's two. All right, so now we're going to do foundation row number four. Okay, now we are going to chain one and turn our work. And again, the chain one does not count as a stitch. We're going to put a single crochet into the first two stitches. Like that. And now we're going to start the repeat of foundation row number four. We're going to chain four. One, two, three, four. Um, we're going to skip this chain of four space right here, and we're going to put a single crochet into the next three single crochets here. One, two, three. We're going to chain two, and we're going to skip this chain two space right here. And we're going to put one single crochet into the next two stitches and that would end the repeat for foundation row number four. So again we would chain four, skip this chain space and one single crochet in each of these three, three single crochets. Chain two, Skip these two right here, and one single crochet in the next two, and then we would just keep repeating that again. Chain four, skip this four, 
one single crochet in each of these three, chain two, skip this two, or skip this chain, one single crochet in the next two. So you're kind of just following the same pattern that we did on the previous row. All right. All right, so I'm coming to the end of foundation row number four. So I did a chain two and I'm gonna skip this chain two and I have three stitches left. I'm gonna be switching colors into my last, in my last stitch here. So I'm gonna single crochet into the next two. There's one there and one there. And then I'm going to single crochet in this stitch, but I'm going to bring up my uh, color A, which would represent black in, a, in my pattern. So I'm gonna go into the stitch and draw up a loop, drop that yarn and pull up color A and pull it through. See, we're just kind of carrying the colors up the side. It's easier that way. All right, so we did our four foundation rows of the blanket. Now it start, it's time to start the, the rows of the blanket, all right? So we're gonna go ahead and start row one. So this has a 16 row repeat. So row one, starting right now, starts as row one of the repeat. These four rows, don't count as the repeat rows. These were just foundation rows, all right? This is going to be row one of the repeat. So row one, we are going to chain one and turn our work. Okay. And we're gonna put a single crochet into the first stitch, just like that. And then we're going to start the repeat of row one. We're gonna put one single crochet into the next stitch. That. And then we're going to chain two. We're gonna skip this stitch right here, skip one. And we're going to do a double crochet in the next skipped single crochet um, three rows below. So that's right down here. So in this particular pattern, this particular design, um, we always work over the chain two and the chain four spaces. So we work kind of like on, on top of them, all right? So what we're gonna do is double crochet right down here. We're skipping this single and we're gonna do a double. We got a chain two on our hook. So we're gonna yarn over, go down into this single crochet and draw it up and sorry about that. Go down in that single crochet, draw it up, and do your double crochet like that. And now we're going to chain two, one, two, and we are going to skip the next stitch right here, skip one, and we're gonna put one single crochet into the next stitch. And then we're going to chain two, and we're gonna skip this stitch here, and we're going to put a double crochet in these two skipped singles three rows below. So we're gonna get a chain two on our hook. We're skipping this stitch here. Go down here and in these two skip stitches, we are going to a double crochet. So there's one. And then we're gonna do it again into the next one down here. Just like that. And then we are going to start the repeat again. 
So we're going to put one single crochet, change right here, one single crochet into the next stitch. So right here, chain two, skip one, and then double crochet down in this single crochet, three rows below. Like that. And then we're going to chain two, like that. We are going to skip one stitch and single crochet into the next. And then we're going to chain two and we're going to skip this single crochet right here. And again, we're going to double crochet down here in these two stitches three rows below, one, two, and then we would start the repeat again. So we're going to put one single crochet into the next stitch, right here. Chain two, skip the stitch here, one double crochet in this skip single down below, like that. And then we're going to chain two, and we're going to skip one single crochet into the next. And we're going to chain two and we're going to put a two a double crochet in these two singles down here two rows below just like we did before and this is what we're going to repeat for row one of the blanket like that and then we would start the repeat again repeat again and so we get to the last two stitches of our row. All right, so I've made it to the last two stitches of the row. I just did two doubles down here in these singles. And I have two stitches that remain. I'm going to go ahead and end uh, row one with one single crochet into the last two stitches, just like that. All right, let's go ahead and start row two. So we are going to chain one, turn our work, and we are going to put one single crochet in the um, first four stitches. One, two, three, four. So one single crochet into the first single crochet, one single crochet into the next single crochet, and then one single crochet in each of these double crochets. And now we will start the repeat of row two. So we are going to chain two, one, two, and we're gonna skip this chain two space right here. And we're gonna put a single crochet into this single crochet right here. And then we're going to chain two and we're gonna skip this chain and put a single crochet into this double crochet right here. And then we're gonna chain two and put one single crochet into this stitch right here. And now we're going to put one single crochet in each of the next two stitches. So we got two doubles here. Let's go ahead and put a single crochet in those like that. And then we start the repeat again. We chain two. Skip this chain two space, single crochet into that next single crochet. 
chain two, single crochet into this next double crochet, chain two, single crochet into this next single crochet, and then we put one single crochet in these two double crochets here, and then we start the repeat again. It's chain two, skip this chain space, one single crochet into the next single crochet, chain two, skip this chain space, one single crochet into the next double crochet, chain two, one single, skip this space here, one single into the next single crochet, and then one single crochet in these two doubles and then we start the repeat again so we would just keep repeating that pattern all the way across um, until we get near the end of the row all right now when you come to the end I did uh, you can see I'm coming to the end and Here's where I did two single crochets into these two doubles. I chained two, single crocheted in this single, chain two, single crocheted in this double. I'm going to chain two again, and then I'm going to single crochet into this single, and then I'm going to end by single crocheting into the last stitch, but we're going to do a color change here. So I'm going to go in and drop a loop, and I'm going to drop that yarn back here sorry and I'm gonna bring in my collar B and pull it through just like that and now we will start row three of the pattern and we're all, we're working with collar B now so we're going to chain one and turn our work <clears throat> let me pull some out ball here all right row three we are going to put one single crochet into the very first stitch and as I mentioned don't worry about these um, us carrying up our yarn we'll take care of that with the border okay so one single crochet into the first stitch and then we're going to chain two and skip this one right here and now we're going to start the repeat of row three all right we're going to um, put a double crochet into the uh, sk skipped single crochet down here three rows below and remember we just go over these chain two spaces so we're going to yarn over down here into the single crochet and double crochet like that and then we're going to put one single crochet into the next stitch so it's the one right here here's the double there's a single on top of it we're going to put one single crochet into that and then we're going to put a double crochet into the skipped single crochet three rows below so right down here you notice how when we our uh, colors line up so like here the blue matched up with the blue and here the yellow is matching up with the yellow now we're going to chain two and we're going to skip this stitch right here and we're going to put a double crochet right down here in the skipped single crochet three rows below like that and then we're going to put one single crochet into 
the next stitch, so right here, and then we're going to chain four. One, two, three, four, and we're going to skip the next two stitches, so this one and this one, and that ends the repeat, so we would start again at the repeat for row three, which is double crocheting into this single crochet, three, lo three rows below, like that. And then we're gonna put one single crochet into the next stitch, so it's right here. Here's that double, and then there's a single on top, so we're gonna put one single crochet into that and double crochet down here in the single crochet three rows below like that and we're going to chain two we're going to skip this stitch right here and we're going to double crochet into this single crochet down here three rows below and then we're going to put one single crochet into the next stitch sometimes you got to just wiggle around these chain spaces to find your stitch but one single crochet into the next stitch chain four skip these two stitches skip skip and then we start the repeat again by putting one double crochet in the single crochet three rows below like that one single crochet in the next stitch so it's right here one double crochet in the single crochet three rows below and then we're going to chain two skip one stitch here one double crochet in the single crochet three rows below like that one single crochet into the next stitch so move them around right here chain four you skip these two stitches and then you start again by putting one single crochet or one double crochet into the single crochet three rows below so you would just keep repeating that across um, until you get near the end of the row. All right, so I'm coming to the end of a row three of our repeat. So we're gonna end on the repeat row of the repeat row when we do a chain of four. So after we do that chain of four, we've been repeating all along, and you finish out a chain four, you have three stitches left. We're gonna skip two and we're going to single crochet into the last stitch. And that'll end row three of this uh, blanket. All right, let's go ahead and start row four. We're gonna chain one and turn our work. And we are going to put a single crochet right here into this very first stitch and then we're going to start the repeat of row four we're going to chain four one two three four and we're going to skip this chain four space right here and we're going to put one single crochet in each of the next two stitches so this one and this one this single and then this double from the previous row then we're going to chain two one 
2. And we're going to skip this chain 2 space right here. And we're going to put one single crochet into the next three stitches. One, two, three. One, two, and three. And that will end the repeat of row four. So we will start again by chaining four. One, two, three, four. Skipping this chain four right here and we're going to single crochet in each of the next two and we're going to chain two and skip this chain two space right here and one single crochet into the next three again and this is the pattern we're going to repeat for row four. Again, chain four, we start the repeat. Skip this chain four space, one single crochet into the next two. Chain two. And one sing skip this chain two space and one single crochet into the next three. And we're going to keep repeating this crossed till we get near the end of the row. So this is a pretty easy repeat. You just chain four, um, single in the next two, chain two single in the next three and just keep reading repeating that until we get near the end all right i'm coming to the end of row four i just did my th three single crochets here and if you look we have a chain two and a single crochet left so we're going to do a chain of two we're going to skip this chain two space here we're going to single crochet in the last but we're going to do a color change here so we're going to go in drop a loop drop that one and bring up our next one trying not to get them tangled up here too much here sorry okay there it is <laughs> and we're gonna bring up uh, my blue, which stands for the black that you see in the blanket, and pull it through. There we go. Well, that's what it's starting to look like. All right. Well, let's go ahead and start row five. So we're going to chain one, and we're going to turn our work. Okay, we're going to put a single crochet into the very first stitch. And then we're going to put a double crochet down here in this skipped single crochet three rows below. Just like that. So it kind of smooshes your chain spaces. And that's just fine. That's what we want. Okay, now we're going to start the repeat of row five. We're going to put one single crochet into the next stitch. And we're going to chain two. And we're going to skip the next stitch right here. And put one single crochet into the next stitch like that and then we're going to put a double crochet in the single crochet two rows below way down here kind of smash up them it does tend to smash up the chain spaces that's fine that's fine okay and then we're going to put a single crochet into the next stitch remember you got to kind of look around to find it here okay one single crochet into the next stitch we're going to chain two 
and we are going to skip this stitch right here and then we're going to put a double crochet down here in these two single crochets three rows below so there's two of them down here now so we got a double crochet in each of those there's one and then here is the other and that ends the repeat now for row five so we will start again by putting one single crochet into the next stitch here's chain spaces so kind of slide them over a bit so you can find it so one single crochet into the next stitch chain two um, skip the next stitch one single crochet into the next stitch right here and then we do a double crochet in the single crochet three rows below like that <clears throat> and then we are going to put a single crochet into the next stitch right here like that and then we're going to chain two and we're going to skip this one stitch right here and we're going to put a double crochet in these two single crochets to three rows below and this is what we're going to repeat for row five and so we get near the end of the row so it's pretty easy you repeat row there all right when you make it to the end of row five you should have been able to end in a complete repeat um and then there'll be one stitch here that remains we're just going to a single crochet into that last stitch there's row five all right all right <laughs> looking funny it's looking funny hey we gotta have faith all right we're gonna start row six we're gonna chain one and turn for row six okay and we're going to start off by putting one single crochet into the first three stitches. So there's one, two, and three, like that. Now we will start the repeat of row six. We are going to chain two, skip this chain space. And we're going to put one single crochet into the next three stitches one two three hey and that ends the repeat so we're going to chain two skip this chain space one single crochet into the next three stitches so hey that's an easy one, isn't it? And we're going to chain two, skip this chain space, one single crochet into the next three stitches. All right, we're going to do this. I got one more all the way across until we make it to the end. The last stitch, though, we are going to do a color change. So I'll meet back up with you at the end of row six. All right. I'm and I had to single crochet in my last three so I did two and I'm going to single crochet in my last one but I'm going to change colors on my last one so I'm going to go into it and drop a loop and drop that and I'll bring in color B which is the multicolored yarn in the blanket that you see and bring it through all right let's start row seven we're going to chain one turn our work all right here we go we're going to put one single crochet into the very first stitch and now we are going to start the repeat of row seven we're going to chain two and we're going to skip one stitch and we're going to single crochet into the next so skip and single into the next like that and then we're going to do our double crochet down here in the single crochet that we skipped three rows below like that 
Then we're going to chain four. One, two, three, four. And we are going to skip two stitches. One, two, and single crochet into the next. And then we're going to put a double crochet into this skipped single crochet. Three rows below. And then we're going to put one single crochet into the next stitch. And that will end the repeat. So we will start again by chaining two, skipping one, and single crocheting into the next, like that. And then we're going to do our double crochet down here in the single crochet that we skipped three rows below. And then we're going to chain four, one, two, three, four. And we are going to skip two stitches, skip, skip. And we're going to single crochet into the next. And then we're going to double crochet in the single crochet down here that we skipped right here. Remember, sometimes you got to dig around in these chain spaces so you don't go into them. Double crochet into the single crochet that we skipped three rows below. One single crochet into the next stitch. And then we start the repeat again with a chain two. Skip one stitch, single crochet into the next. One double crochet here into the single crochet that we skipped. Three rows below. And then we will chain four. And we will skip two stitches. Skip, skip one single crochet into the next and then we will double crochet down here in the single crochet that we skipped three rows below and then we will put one single crochet into the next stitch and we will repeat again starting with the chain two and single crocheting into the next, double crocheting way down here into this single crochet. And we're just going to repeat what we did here on row seven until we get near the end of the row. All right, so I'm coming to the end of row seven and you should have been able to finish on a complete repeat and have two stitches left. So we're going to end by chaining two skipping one and putting a single crochet into the last stitch like that all right let's start on row eight we're going to chain one and turn our work sorry my yarn keeps getting tangled on my camera all right row eight we are going to put a single crochet into this very first stitch and then we're going to chain two and we're going to skip this chain two space all right and now we're going to start the repeat of row eight we're going to put a single crochet into the next three stitches there's one two and three then we're going to chain four and we're going to skip this chain four space right here and we're going to put a single crochet in the next two stitches there's one and two and then we're going to chain two and we're going to skip this chain two space right here and that ends the repeat so we'll start Again, by putting a single crochet into the next three stitches. This row is pretty easy. Chain four. 
skip this chain four, one single crochet into the next two, chain two, skip this chain space, and we start again, one single crochet into the next three, chain four, Skip this chain space, one single crochet into the next two, chain two, skip this chain space and start again. So we're going to go ahead and repeat this pattern um, until we get to the last stitch of our row. All right, I'm coming to the end of row eight here. So you should have been able to end in a complete repeat, which was a chain two, and we'll skip this chain, and we're going to chain two here, and we're going to single crochet in the last, but we're going to switch colors here. So I'm going to go in, drop a loop, I'm going to drop this color, and bring in my color A. And we will begin row nine. So we're going to chain one and turn our work. Okay. We're going to put a single crochet into the very first stitch. Like that. And now we're going to start the repeat of row nine. So we're going to do a double crochet in the skipped single three rows below. Like that. And then we're going to chain two. And we are going to skip one stitch and single crochet into the next. And then we're going to put a double crochet in each of these two singles down here, three rows below. So there's one, like that, then we're going to chain two, and we will skip one stitch, and we're going to single crochet into the next. And then we will chain two and then we're going to skip one stitch and that ends the repeat so we're going to start again by putting um, starting over at the beginning of the repeat with a double crochet down here in this single crochet two rows below like that chain two Skip one stitch, single crochet into the next, double crochet in these two single crochets, three rows below, and then we're going to chain two. And we are going to skip one stitch and then we're going to single crochet into the next. And then we're going to chain two, skip one stitch and start our repeat again by doing a double crochet into the stitch, single crochet, two rows below like that. And then we're going to chain two. We're going to skip one stitch and single crochet into the next. And then we're going to do a double crochet in each of these two stitches, three rows below. There's one and 
two. And then we're going to chain two. Skip one stitch, single crochet in the next, chain two, skip one stitch, and we start the repeat again by doing a double crochet into the single crochet, three rows below, and I will meet back up with you near the end of the row. All right, so I'm coming to the end of row nine. Now you should have been able to finish a complete repeat. Uh, we did the chain two and we would skip this stitch and that would start the repeat again. So what we're gonna do is double crochet into this single crochet, two rows below like that. And then we're gonna single crochet into the last stitch. And now in row nine. Okay, go ahead and start. Row 10, we are going to chain one and turn our work. And we're gonna put a single crochet in the first two stitches. So one right here and one right here. Now we're gonna start the repeat of row 10. So we're going to chain two, skip this chain space, and put one single crochet into the next single crochet, like that. Then we're going to chain two, skip this chain space, one single crochet in the next three stitches. And we're going to chain two, excuse me, skip this chain space, one single crochet into the next stitch right here. And that will end the repeat for row 10. So we will start again by chaining two, skipping this chain space, one single crochet into the next stitch, chain two, skip this chain space one single crochet into the next three stitches one two three chain two skip this chain space one single crochet into the next stitch and we repeat again so this is a pretty easy Repeat here on row 10, chain 2, skip this chain 2 space, single into the next, chain 2, skip this chain 2, single into the next 3, there's 1, 2, 3, chain 2, skip this chain 2, single into the next and we're just going to keep repeating this pattern um, and so we get to the last stitch of our row and we're going to be doing a color change when we get to the end of row 10. all right i'm coming to the end of row 10. Um, i did the chain two then i had two stitches left i single crocheted here and we're going to single crochet in the last but we're going to do a color change so i'm going to drop that color A and I'm going to bring in color B and we will begin row 11. So we're going to chain one and turn. Okay. And we will begin. We will put one single crochet in each of the uh, first two stitches. So that one and then this one right here here. Now we are going to start the repeat of row 11. We're going to be doing a double crochet in this stitch that we skipped three rows below. And 
and then we're going to chain four. One, two, three, four. We will skip, <clears throat> excuse me, two stitches, skip, skip, and single crochet into the next. Like that. And we are going to do a double crochet in the single crochet that we skipped three rows below. Like that. Then we're going to chain two. And we will skip this stitch here. And we will do a double crochet in the single crochet we skipped three rows below. And then we're going to do a single crochet into the next stitch. And that will end the repeat of row 11. So we will start again. Um, we started right here with a double crochet, three rows below, and that's what we're going to do again. Start double crochet and the single crochet, three rows below, and then we're going to chain four. And then we're going to skip two stitches, skip, skip, and single crochet into the next. Like that. And then we're going to do our double crochet and the single crochet that we skipped three rows below. Like that. And then we're going to chain two. And we will skip this stitch excuse me, right here, and then we will double crochet in this single crochet that we skipped three rows below. And then we're going to single crochet into the next stitch. And again, that ends the repeat. So we will start again. Right here was our starting point. So we'll double crochet into the single crochet that we skipped three rows below. Chain four. One, two, three, four. We're going to skip two stitches, skip, skip, and single into the next. Like that. And then we are going to double crochet in the single crochet that we skipped three rows below. And we're going to chain two. Skip this stitch here. And double crochet in the single crochet that we skipped three rows below. Single crochet into the next stitch right here, and then we start the repeat again from right here. All right, so we're going to go ahead and repeat this pattern um, until we get to the last stitch of our row. All right, I'm coming to the end of row 11, and you should have been able to finish out a complete repeat with one stitch that remains. Go ahead and single crochet in that remaining stitch like that. And we will start row 12 by chaining one and turning our work. All right. Okay. Row 12. One single crochet in the first three stitches. Now we're going to start the repeat of row 12. We're going to chain two, skip this chain two space, and single crochet into the next two stitches. This is an easy row again. We're going to chain four. Oops. Skip this chain four. 
And we're going to put one single crochet into the next three stitches. And now that ends the repeat of row 12. So we're going to start again. We're going to chain two, skip this chain two space, one single crochet into the next two stitches, chain four, skip this chain four, one single crochet into the next three, and repeat. Oops, if I can get it. Repeat it again. Chain two, skip the chain two, one single crochet into the next two, chain four, skip the chain four, and one single crochet into the next three. Now you just want to repeat this pattern until you get to the last stitch of your row. Uh, we're going to switch colors at our last stitch. All right, so I'm coming to the end of row 12 um and i just did a chain four we're going to skip this chain four and we have three stitches that remain we're going to single crochet in the last three stitches but we are going to change um to our main color on the last stitch here so i'm going to drop that bring in my main color and we'll start row 13. All right, so I'm going to chain one and we are going to turn our work. All right, so for row 13, we're going to single crochet into the first stitch. Now we're going to start the repeat of row 13. We're going to chain two. We're going to skip one and we're going to single crochet into the next. And then we are going to do a double crochet in these two single crochets from three rows below. Like that. And then we're going to chain two. And we are going to skip this stitch right here and we're going to single crochet into the next stitch and then we're going to do a double crochet in the single crochet that we skipped three rows below and then we're going to single crochet into the next stitch and that will end the repeat and we will start again by chaining two, skipping one stitch, and single crocheting into the next. And then we're going to put a double crochet into the two singles that we skipped three rows below. And then we're going to chain two. We are going to skip one stitch and single crochet into the next. And then we're going to double crochet in this stitch here, three rows below. And then we will single crochet into the next stitch. And again, that ends the repeat and we will start again by chaining two, skipping one, and single crocheting into the next. And then we're going to do a double crochet in these two singles that we skipped three rows below. And then we're going to chain two again. We are going to skip one stitch and single into the next. And then we're going to double down here in the single crochet that we skipped three rows below. 
and single crochet into the next stitch. That ends the repeat. And again, we'll start again with a chain two, skipping one, single crocheting here, then doing our two doubles here. So we're just going to keep repeating that until we get near the end of row 13. All right, so I finished out a repeat with this uh, drop double down here and ended the repeat with the single crochet. And we have two stitches left. We're going to chain two, skip one, and single crochet into the last. And now we're going to go ahead and start row 14. We're going to chain one and turn our work. And we're going to put a single crochet into the first stitch. And then we're going to chain two. Now we're going to start our repeat by putting a single crochet into the next three. One, two, three. We're going to chain two, skip this chain space right here. And then that ends the repeat. So we will begin by putting one single crochet into the next three stitches. There's one, two, three, chain two, skip this chain two space. That ends the repeat. One single crochet into the next three. chain two, skip this chain two here, that ends the repeat, one single crochet into the next three. So we're going to go ahead and repeat this pattern until we get near the end of row 14. We will have to change colors down there. So just keep, keep repeating that. All right, so coming to the end of row 14, you should be able to end in a complete repeat. I did the chain two, and skip this two and we would single crochet here into the last stitch but we need to switch colors here so i'm going to go in drop a loop drop my main color a and bring up color b like that and we can start row 15 now so we're going to chain one and turn our work All right, so we're going to start row 15 now by putting a single crochet into the very first stitch. And now we're going to start the repeat of row 15. We are going to do a double crochet in the single crochet that we skipped three rows below, like that. And then we are going to do a single crochet into the next stitch chain two, skip the stitch right here and single crochet into the next stitch. And then we are going to do a double crochet in this single crochet down here that we skipped three rows below, like that. And we're going to do a single crochet into the next stitch and then we're going to chain four four and we will skip these two stitches right here and we will start our repeat again so we have this chain four on a hook and we skipped these two stitches um, and now we're going to start the repeat, which was single crocheting or double crocheting with down here in the single crochet. So we'll go ahead and do that with that chain four there on our hook still like that. Okay. And then we are going to <clears throat> single crochet into the next stitch, chain two skip this single crochet, single crochet into the next stitch. And then we're going to a double crochet into the 
this single crochet three rows below like that and then we are going to single crochet into the next stitch chain four skip these two stitches and start our repeat again by doing a double crochet in the single crochet from two rows below that we skipped like that single crochet into the next stitch chain two skip one and single crochet into the next stitch and then we're going to do a double crochet in the single crochet two rows below then we're going to single crochet into the next stitch chain four skip these two and repeat by putting a double crochet down here into this single crochet and we're just going to repeat this pattern for row 15 until we get near the end of the row okay so um row 15 i was able to finish out a complete repeat i did my chain of four and we skip in these two stitches and we're going to end by doing a double crochet into this single crochet from three three rows below and we're gonna <clears throat> put a single crochet into the last stitch and then we are going to do a row 16 all right so row 16 is the final row of the repeat but it is just a repeat of foundation row four so let's go ahead and do it row 16 we're going to chain one and we're going to turn our work and we are going to put a single crochet into the first two stitches and then we're going to start the repeat of row 16 we're going to chain four and we're going to skip this chain four space and we're going to put a single crochet into the next three stitches one two three and then we're going to chain two skip this chain two space right here and one single crochet into the next two stitches and that will end the repeat so again we are going to chain four skip this chain four one single crochet into the next three chain two skip this chain two space and one single crochet into the next two that ends the repeat and we start again with the chain four three singles chain two two singles and repeat and i'll meet back up with you at the end of row 16 and um we're gonna have to change colors and i'll tell you what to do next all right, when you get to the end of row 16, you'll have to switch colors here. Um, you'll be able to do the complete repeat and then you'll have uh, one, stitch one stitch left here. Go ahead and go into it and single crochet, but switch to color A. And now what we do is we start from row one again and we repeat rows one through 16. And if you wanna do it, you know, the size of the blanket that you've seen in a picture, you wanna repeat rows one through 16 for a total of 12 complete repeats of one through 16. So one through 16, 12 times. And once you get rows 1 through 16 completed 12, 12 times total so that's 1 through 16 this is one time we have to do this a total of 12. what we're going to do after that once we did a total of 12 we are going to do rows 1 through 12 
one time. All right, so does that, does that make sense? One through 16 is right here what we just did. You do that 12 times, so this, this is one time. And you need to do it 11 more times. And then once you get done with that, you'll be at the end of row 16 again. And then we're gonna do rows one through 12 one time. So um, we can go ahead and repeat rows one through 12. Uh, so we'll just start again at, at row one. Actually, I'm just gonna go ahead and, you know, I, I have, I'll have the timestamps on the screen. So remember one last time. This is row one through 16, not counting our foundation rows, one through 16. This is one complete repeat. You need 12 complete repeats of one through 16. And then once you get done with one through 16, you'll end on a row 16, and then you wanna do rows one through 12, one time ending on a row 12, okay? This is just, if you're doing it the size that I did. You can do it any size that you want. Just make sure that you end on a row 12 repeat. I'm just telling you um, the blanket that you see in the picture and for the size, uh, approximate size that that one is, you need uh, 12 complete rows of 16 and then uh, one through 12, ending on a row 12, all right? But like I said, you can end, you can do it as big as you want. Just make sure you end on a row 12. All right, so I went again and now I have finished out row 12 and this is where we have to, to finish the, the repeats, okay? Now we have to do um, two finishing rows on the blanket and we want to work that in color A, so the main color. So I went after row 12, I went ahead and switched to color A and this will be our last two finishing rows. All right, we're gonna chain one and turn our work, okay? We're going to single crochet into the next three stitches. There's one, two, three. So this is finishing row um, number one. Okay, now we're gonna start the repeat of the finishing row at number one. And, and we're gonna do a double crochet down here into the two skipped single crochets, three rows below. And then we're gonna put a, a single crochet in each of the next two stitches. And then we're gonna do a double crochet down here into the single crochet, two rows below, like that. And then we're gonna put a single crochet into the next three stitches. And that will end the repeat of the first finishing row. So we'll go ahead and repeat it again. And we'll start off by doing the double crochet in the two singles, two rows, below one single crochet into each of the next two stitches one single crochet i'm sorry one double crochet in the single crochet two rows below and one single crochet into the next three and this is what we're gonna repeat it all the way across for our first row of our finishing, finishing two rows. So again, we repeat again, double crochet in these two single crochets down here. One single crochet in each of these next two stitches. Like that double crochet into the single crochet, two rows below, and one single crochet into the next three stitches. That ends the repeat, and then we start again. 
with our two doubles down there. And so we're just going to repeat this all the way till we get to the end. All right. And this is the last finishing row of the design. We're going to chain one before we put the border on it. We're going to chain one and turn. And this is single crochet into the first stitch. And it's just one single crochet in every stitch across until you get to the end of the row. Yay, it's the finishing row. And then we get to do the border. So just continue across, putting one single in every stitch. And I'll meet back up with you at the end of the second and final finishing row of the blanket. All right, so um, we have finished the final finishing row. So never mind the hook change. I set mine down. I'm certain I'll find it again in a bit. But <laughs> if you see, you notice me using a different hook, it's because I don't know where it, mine grew legs. All right, so now what we're going to do is we are going to keep this one, this collar on our hook, collar A. And I, I like to do what is called... <clears throat> excuse me, a finishing row on blankets. So what I do is I evenly try to space out single crochets down the sides, and then I put three single crochets in each corner, and then down the bottom, three single crochets in each corner, evenly space them up the side, three single crochets in the corner, and then up the top, one single crochet in every stitch, and then three single crochets in the final corner. That way, um, it's you know it gets square so when we put a border on it's it's you know a lot square so i'm going to use the same color here and what i'm going to do is chain one now this is just you doing your best to evenly space out down the side single crochets so it doesn't you know it doesn't have to be perfect but one thing i do want to mention is um we did carry up the yarn see it back here Try to make sure that you uh, collect those in, in the single crochet. So when you go in, try to make sure you got those underneath your hook. So they'll be hidden. Never mind that. Okay. And we're just going to do our best to evenly space out single crochets all along the side. Um, this first side here is where... It'll have the, uh, where we carry the yarn up. That's where you have to try to, you want to make sure you get those inside your single crochet. All right. So I'm going to do this all the way down, evenly spacing them out the best I can. Like I said, it does not have to be perfect. And no one will have the same number of stitches here. The border requires no certain amount, like no certain number of stitches. So it doesn't matter how many you have here. Just do your best to evenly space them out. Now, if it feels like uh, it's getting wavy, that means you're putting too many single crochets together. And if it feels like it's buckling, that means that you are not putting enough single crochets. But like I said, just you'll be able to do it. Just do your best like this. All right, so I did my best to evenly space out my single crochet down the side. And when you get down to the corner here, we're going to put three single crochets in, wait a minute, one more I got, in the corner stitch. So three single crochets in the corner. There's one, two, and there's three, just like that. All right, so you got your three single crochet in the corner. Now we're just going to carry along the bottom, putting one single crochet in every stitch you should be able to see pretty well on the bottom of the stitches until we get to our next corner all right and when we get to our next corner all the way down here you'll put three single crochets into that stitch and then you will evenly space up your single crochets here three single crochets into the top corner stitch and then single crochet across the top and i will meet back up here 
to where we started. So we're just evenly spacing out single crochets all the way around the piece and we're working three single crochets in each of the four corners. But I'll meet back up with you here at the last stitch uh, to where we put our three single crochets in the last corner. All right, so I made it to the last stitch to where we started. I'm going to put three. Uh, let's look here. Where we're at. Wait a minute. Last stitch. I'm going to put uh, three single crochets in the corner. And then I'm going to end by slip stitching into my first single crochet over here. Now we can clip off of this color of yarn. So as you can see, let's get this. What this does is makes a nice clean base so we can start our border. Yay. Okay, let's start the border. So we're going to do it uh, using color B, which is the, that's still attached to my crochet. I'm going to clip that off. Um, we're going to be using color B, which is the orange color that you see in my video. So now we're going to start row one of the border. So, all right, starting in the middle single crochet of any corner, that's where we're going to start our yarn. We're going to chain one and we're going to put three single crochets back into that middle corner stitch. One, two, and three. And now we're going to work one single crochet in every stitch all the way around. And then when you get to that, uh, that middle stitch of your next corner, you want to put three single crochets in that corner as well. So it's kind of a repeat of what we just did, but you can see the stitches better this time. You're not working on the sides of the jagged edges. You can actually see where the stitches need to go. So row one of the border is working with color B. One single crochet in every stitch. And then when you get to the three single crochets in the middle or on the corner stitches, put three single crochets into that middle stitch of that group of three and we're going to do this all the way around and i will meet back up with you when we get back around to our starting point all right when you make it to the end here you want to end by slip sticking slip stitching into your first single crochet i'm going to tie this yarn off and then boom now we're going to start row two of the border. So we did the finishing edge. Now this is row one. And now we're going to start row two with color A, which is the black yarn. And what we're going to do is we're just going to repeat what we did on row one. So in the middle single crochet of the group of three, start your yarn. Chain one and work three single crochets into it. There's one, two, three, and then we're going to work one single crochet again in every stitch across, working three single crochets in the middle single crochet of the group of threes in the corner. So row two of the border is just a repeat of row one. It's just done in color A instead of color B. So I'm going to continue this around, repeating what we just did. Remember when you get down here and in every corner, that middle single crochet gets three single crochets in it. All right. All right. Well, I'll meet back up with you at our starting point. All right, so I made it to the end of row two of the blanket. So let's go ahead and slip stitch into our first single crochet. And we're going to switch colors again for row three. Going to go back to the color B. 
Okay. And again, we're going to start in any middle single crochet um, of any corner. So I'm just going to start here where I've been starting. Pull our yarn through. Remember, we're on color B now. And this is row three of the border. All right, so we're going to start off now with the chain of four. Now, cha that chain of four counts as a triple crochet. So in this corner here, we want to do six more triples. So counting this one, we'll have a total of seven. So we're going to yarn over twice in the same corner. We're going to do six more triples. So there's one. Two. three, four, five, and there's six, and then counting that chain four makes a total of seven triple crochets into that corner. Now we're just going to work along and we're going to be putting one triple crochet into every stitch this time pretty easy it's an easy border so one triple crochet into every stitch until we get to the middle oops that was a double we don't want that until we get to the middle single crochet of our next corner and we will put seven triple crochets in to that stitch so this is uh, row three of the border is pretty much the same except for we're doing triple crochets instead of singles and we're putting seven triples in the corner stitch of the single crochet instead of three like we did before well we used single crochet last time but now we're using triple so I'm going to do a triple crochet in every stitch and I'll meet back up with you at the next corner. All right, so I've made it to my middle single crochet of the next corner and it gets seven double crochets in that corner stitch. So there's one, two, three, There's four and five, six and seven. And then we start again working one triple crochet in every stitch until we get to the next corner, which is the middle single crochet of the group of three. So we're going to repeat this pattern all the way around and I'll meet back up with you at our starting point. Oops. Nice. All right, so we're coming to the end. I'm going to end by slip stitching into the top of our beginning chain four. And we're going to switch colors again. Let's do it again. Cut that off. There we go. Now we're going to go back to color A, which is the, main, the color that I used in black. We're going to find the middle stitch of this group of seven. So it would be the four stitch over. So you count this chain four, one, two, three, four. And that would be the middle stitch and that is where you want to start your yarn. All right. And row five of the border, we're going to chain one and we're going to work three single crochets into this, this middle stitch of the border. There's one, there's two, there's three, 
and then we're going to work across putting one single crochet in every stitch until we get to the middle stitch of our next group of seven of the corner and there oops and there we will work three single crochets into that corner stitch so row five is just a round of single crochet and we're working one or we're working one single crochet in every stitch and then when we get to that group of seven in the corner work one single crochet in every stitch until you get to the middle stitch of it remember which will be the fourth stitch there you put three single crochets into that stitch and then you can just continue one single crochet until you get to your next corner and I will meet back up with you at the end of our row pretty easy it is a simple border but I think it's quite pretty okay when you make it to the end of row four you just slip stitch here and tie off like that and then what we're going to do is switch to color B and you can start in the middle of any of uh, the chain the middle of any of the uh, single crochets in the uh, center here of the three and we're just going to repeat what we just did so we're going to chain one we're going to go back into it we're going to put three single crochets into that middle stitch there's one two three so this is row five of the border and then we're going to go around and we're going to work one single crochet in every stitch and then when you get to the three single or the yeah the three single crochets crochets in the corner you put three single crochets in the middle stitch of that group of three so we're going to do this all the way around just like this this is row four now once you make it all the way around here doing one single crochet in every stitch and then working three single crochets in the middle crochet of each of the four corners when you make it back around here on row five you just slip stitch right here into your first single crochet tie it off and then you do for row six you just repeat row five with color a the exact same way it's just um starting in the middle single crochet and three single crochets in it and going around one more time row six is just a repeat of row five but we're doing it in the color a which is black on my blanket but blue on this one that's it so let me show all right so when you look at the border now you can see how it was done so we did the border edge was done in color a on this blanket that the finishing edge where we went around and cleaned up all the edges and then we started the border so row one was color b row two was color a row three was a triple crochet row which was color b row four a row five b and row six a and that's it that's all there is to it benito i cannot wait to see yours and the colors that you choose for yours i hope that you enjoyed my tutorial please don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that uh yeah hit that to subscribe button it's free to subscribe all my videos are free we have a lot i have lots of lots of tutorials lots of yarn content hit hit that like button if you enjoyed and i'll see you on my next video bye everybody